Hello and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I'm Alicia and this is the place to be if you want to lose the pain, lose your fear of pain, learn to trust your body and do what you love for life. You've all heard of fascia by now, I'm sure, but do you really know what it is? Most people, when they think of fascia or connective tissue, tend to think of the white part in a steak or that kind of transparent stuff on the outside of a chicken breast, but there's a lot more to this substance called fascia than a lot of us are aware of. And today I wanna dive into fascia with you a little bit so we can kind of understand just how critical it is for the human body and what kind of role it plays in pain and getting out of pain. So hopefully my goal with this, by educating you about fascia, would be that you feel like you understand the inner workings of your body better and start learning to kind of trust what's happening when pain shows up and you have an internal kind of awareness of what's going on and how to fix it for yourself. So yes, fascia wraps are muscle fibers or are muscles like you kind of see on that chicken breast or in a steak, but there's a lot more to it. It actually wraps every single organ, every bone in our body, and it not only wraps a muscle, but it wraps every single fibril of muscle tissue and then fiber, which is made up of multiple little fibrils, and it actually wraps every single nerve ending and the axons on the nerves and the entire nerve itself. So it's very connected to the nerves in our body. And that's a very fascinating kind of relationship to me because our nervous system tends to regulate pretty much everything. I mean, our state in any given moment is directly impacted to the state of our, or by the state of our nervous system. So the nervous system and the fascial system are directly connected. And basically what's happening there is the fascia kind of gets the information from a nerve and kind of translates it through the system to other nerves. Uh, so it's kind of a communicator translator, if you will. It's actually sending signals through that system um, and basically letting the body communicate to the brain and back again. That, that is basically happening through the fascial system. So it's everywhere. It's kind of a vast crisscrossing matrix of tissue. Now, that tissue that is more directly connected to the nerves and the nervous system, um, and maybe the muscle fibrils as well, but not so much the bigger pieces of fascia. So we're talking about kind of those really small pieces of fascia that are all connected in a matrix throughout our body. That system of fascia has within it what's called ground substance or the extracellular matrix. And this substance is responsible for feeding or nourishing every single cell in the human body. It's also responsible for taking waste from a cell when it, when it excretes waste and eliminating it out of the body. It does this via the fascia system. So super, super important, right? <laughs> Basically our, the thing that is responsible for life, our cells is dependent on that fascial system having a good amount and a good high quality ground substance to stay nourished and healthy. So I know I'm getting a little sciencey on you here, but kind of hang with me because this is super, super, super important info. That extracellular matrix or ECM and the ground substance that's in our fascial system is basically what gives the fascia it's spring because it's meant to be kind of gel-like. It's a watery, gluey substance that needs to be kind of distributed everywhere. It's also the thing that when force is applied to the body or compression or something like walking or running, when impact happens, that substance actually, the extracellular matrix within the fascial system is what distributes impact and force or compression and distributes it through the system so it's not affecting only one area. It's basically our body's way of protecting our cells and our nerves and our blood and our bones from damage. It's basically our shock absorber. So imagine your fascia is getting unhealthy. 
it starts to lose its spring, it starts to lose that ground substance, it starts to become brittle and dehydrated, and basically when this happens, it can no longer absorb shock or impact. So if you're doing things like running or you're an athlete or even just being on your feet all day, uh, it's certainly going to be felt in your body. You're gonna feel the weight of your body touching the ground in a much more detrimental way or painful way uh, than you will if you have a springy, healthy fascial system. So think of a wet sponge versus a dry, dirty, used up, brittle one. <laughs> Which one would you rather have your body be like? It is, I do want you to think about this, like your body is one giant spring because it's all, it's crisscrossing just like a sponge is. It's not disconnected, so it's all connected. And basically think about like when you squeeze a sponge and kind of wring it out. It allows all that waste to go out of the sponge and then when you release it, new fresh water, let's say while you're washing dishes, right? That fresh substance or water in your body, it's going to be that ground substance, will rush in and that's going to be the healthy new food, if you will, that keeps your body healthy. Uh, so, you know, if you're not taking care of your fascia, you're going to end up with a fascial system, an internal system that's basically like a dried out, dirty, brittle sponge, and who wants that? And one of the other things that happens when your fascia gets unhealthy is it sticks to itself in balls or knots. And then what happens is your muscle fibers and your muscles can't glide properly through movement. So you might feel like achy or heavy or movement might feel difficult and you don't even know why. It's likely happening because that fascial system has gotten unhealthy. And then if you have major fascial restrictions or knots in your system somewhere, pain is pretty much inevitable. It's gonna build up and build up and build up over, over time, but your body can only take so much. So then you're gonna end up with something like low back pain or knee pain or hip pain or plantar fasciitis, carpal tunnel, elbow tendonitis. All these issues are related to fascia and all of them can be eliminated through fascial release. So what I want you to kind of take away from this is that fascia is the main substance in our body that is the protector. It's the thing that coats and separates and protects everything in the body that is responsible for life. Our blood, our nerves, our cells. It's the, the substance that feeds ourselves and eliminates waste. So it's actually meant to be almost impervious to change. That's why when compression is applied, it distributes that force throughout the system, otherwise we'd be in big trouble. So fascia is not one to change quickly or through outside force, it won't want to. So this is one of the things I want you to take away from this video. There are a lot of fascial release methods out there and a lot of the time they're using an outside force to try to manipulate the fascia. And can this work? Yes. It can, but it's my kind of opinion and professional experience uh, doing this work since 2008 that most of the time fascia is going to resist outside force trying to change it because that's its job. And to get fascia to change, we want to ask the fascia to change itself. And so this is kind of one of fascia's little secrets that I like to give away to you so you understand how to get the best possible result when you're doing fascia release techniques for pain relief. So everything I teach you here on Mobility Mastery, the YouTube channel, and the blog is trying to teach you how to use compression or weight to pin a piece of fascia and then get it to change itself through movement. So this is how you get the fascial system to change itself. You want to compress a piece of that fascial system and then move. So all of the techniques here on Mobility Mastery are using that method to release fascia. So I hope you found this as fascinating as I do. I know I'm a little bit of a nerd, but hopefully you can nerd out with me. I think it's super cool and I love relating to my body this way and just kind of learning what it's like on the inside and what it's actually doing for me to keep me healthy because this allows me to do what I need to do to keep my body healthy and pain free. So I want you to take that away from this video as well. If you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel, you can do that now. We have new episodes coming out every single Monday. And if you want to sign up for our newsletter, 
We give exclusive updates via email, and new episodes are emailed out every Monday. You can do that at mobilitymastery.com. And if you like this video and you found it interesting, then please like and share it. As always, I hope you're learning to trust your body so you can adventure through life with confidence.